So I was curious what the ideal mashing speed was, or if there even was one. I mean, I assume there was one because that just makes sense from like a game coding perspective, like there has to be. So anyway, I did some research uh, to see if someone else had already figured it out. And I actually did find a tutorial by Zombie where he recommends 450 BPM or seven and a half button presses per second. So I wanted to test this out though and see if it was right. And since I already had the working code for an N64 controller input, I made some modifications to that so that it would calculate the time between A presses and convert that to beats per minute for each time I press the A button. So basically just like the amount of time between A presses and it uses that to spit out a number which is what the beats per minute would be if I was consistently pressing at exactly that speed. Okay, so here's some data I gathered from several successful BLJ attempts for the 50 star door and the endless staircase. Each column here shows the BPM calculated for each A press. And that's again, based on the time since the previous A press. Okay, so the number that really jumps out is 600 BPM or 10 A presses per second. And as you can see, most of the values are around 600 and it's also the number with the most repeat presses indicated by the little number in blue next to the BPM reading. Um, so I was pretty happy with this, but wanted to double check it. So to confirm that it is 600 BPM, I tried syncing up the audio of my BLJ attempts to a 600 BPM song. Uh, the only 600 BPM song that I could really find was a song called Hold Angel by the artist named You. Uh, and it actually sounds pretty good to me. And definitely sounds better than with the song at 450 BPM. But then I realized an even simpler approach would be to just see how well it lines up with a 600 BPM metronome compared to a 450 BPM metronome. And from this comparison, it seems really clear to me that 450 BPM is really too slow. And 600, although not exact at certain points, is a lot better. So the next thing I thought is maybe due to lag on the N64, um, the mash speed is actually slower. So I decided to fire up my N64 and record a few successful BLJs on the 50 star door. And I used that audio to again compare to the 600 and the 450 metronome. And just from looking at the audio, I could see already that it was the same. But finally, I thought, I'm just a casual gamer. Maybe I'm not a good reference point for this. And uh, a lot of the comments on Zombies tutorial said 450 was right. So I thought maybe I should use one of the pros for reference. So I went to Simply's YouTube and looked up his most recent 120 star PB and went to his BLJs for the 50 star door for a Wilco clip. Um, he had some trouble getting the BLJ to catch, but during his three strongest consecutive backward long jumps, he was mashing at almost exactly 600 BPM. So I think uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. There's a link to that project if you wanna try it out yourself and see what mash speed is best for you. Uh, let me know in the comments if you disagree with 600 BPM. And uh, no disrespect to Zombie, I uh, really appreciated his tutorial video. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.